And for any uh, children that are here or, or watching at home, I want to especially welcome you as we have this uh, children's message. And, and there are some kids in the room, and so if, if you have an answer to any of the questions I ask, feel free to just yell them out, okay, wherever, wherever you are. So what do you notice that's different in the sanctuary today? What do you... Yeah, we have this beautiful banner that's up here. That's part of our, our series that we're going through this, this Advent um, uh, with a the theme close to home. There's Christmas lights and decorations. There, there's, uh, do you see any c- colors that you haven't seen in a while? Yes, there are lights up there. What color's on the table? Do you see this color here? This is purple. We have purple. Purple is officially the color of Advent and, and Lent. Um, it, it, these are these holy seasons of preparation. So today's the first Sunday of Advent. I kind of leaked the, the, the answer earlier as, when I said Advent. Um, but this is a really exciting time, you know, where, you know, last year at this time, we, we, weren't, all, we weren't together in this space, but now uh, we're, we're together this year and we can experience all the beautiful decorations. Advent is a time where we uh, wait, and we, we wait for something that's coming, someone that's coming uh, towards the end of the month. What are we waiting for in Advent? Yeah. We're waiting for Christmas, and, and Christmas is when we celebrate that Jesus was born, and Jesus has come. Now, sometimes it's not all that easy to wait, right? You, you know, especially when we're waiting for Christmas, that might mean presents. Uh, you might get asked, or you might ask in your house, uh, is it Christmas yet? Is it, and, and really, it's not even December. I mean, we've got a ways to go yet. Yeah. Waiting... May, waiting kind of forces us to, to be patient. I want to read you one verse of, of the Bible. In Romans 8.25, it says, But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Now, what I like about this verse is it brings together two different words. It brings together waiting, like we already talked about, but it also brings together hope. And I think hope, hoping and waiting, are, are very much the same thing. Or at least they're very, very similar. We hope and we wait. Now, it would be really difficult to, to just wait for Christmas and, and not do anything while we wait. That's not really what we do in Advent. Advent is a time where we can start to prepare and, and to, to make maybe changes, make space in our life, make room in our hearts uh, for, for Jesus to come. And our children's ministry team has, has provided us with a great way, uh, some simple ways that we can do this. Um, one of them is through this, this, well, this Advent bag, I will say, if anyone doesn't have one of these, if there are any families out there, uh, talk to me today, or, or, or uh, Jane, or Diane, or Chris Clark, uh, we'd love to make sure that you have one of these. Um, this is something that you could put on your refrigerator, and, and you could use a magnet, and you see there's, there's different numbers, and so each day of December leading up to Christmas, you can move the magnet. So on the very first day, we'd start at the number one here. And right underneath it, it says, name five things you miss about home when you are away. And so that would, that would be a simple little thing you could do each, each day so that you're not just waiting and doing nothing, but we're, we're thinking and we're reflecting and, and making space for Jesus when, when he comes. And then you could go to the number two, and it says, set up a stable for your nativity scene. So all of these days as you go through it, would give you one little simple thing you could do each day as you wait, and so that you're not just waiting, um, but that it helps us to wait patiently. Um, There are also candles in there so that you could make your very own Advent wreath at home using things that you probably already have at home. So we wait and we hope in the season of Advent. Let me close with a prayer of hope. To hope is to wait for something. Hoping and waiting are the same. When we hope, we wait. And when we wait, we hope. May God be with us as we wait and hope for Jesus. Amen.